Hello, Mr. William. Welcome, welcome. Good afternoon. Well, good evening. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello Mr. How are you today? Mm, I'm fine, teacher. That's, and you? Uh, that's good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm ready to start, but I don't know what happened with the other ones. Oh, my goodness. Um, maybe they are working, right? I think they are working or no. At what time do you get out of work, mister? Come. What At what time do you go out of work? Like when you go out of work, what time? Five, six? Or depends? Six. six. Oh, okay. Understand. That's okay. That's good. That's good. We have one more coming over there. Maybe the other ones come. Hello, Mr. Guillermo. Welcome. Hello, Mr. Can you hear me? Good night. Good, hello, Mr. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's just start then. I don't know what happened to the other ones, but we are going to continue. Okay. Um, so today we are going to start with Inglés Principiante Modulo Uno. Today it is uh what well, we are going to continue to today is the last week, right? And uh today it is Monday, May 8th, 2023. Okay, so today we're going to continue. We're going to do a practice of the uh, present progressive, and then we are going to also practice the time, okay? So that we are going to talk about that, and we're going to do some practice and many more things, okay? Uh, this is the unit number five, what are you doing? And um, this is the agenda, super short, but with a lot of practice, okay? So to start, as I told you, we are going to practice with this game, okay? You're going to say if it is true or a false, or if it is correct or incorrect. It's about the present progressive or present continuous that we studied last week, right? And so give me one second so I can present to you. Me one second, please, please. Oh, I guess I'm good. Okay. Hello, welcome, Mayra. Hello, welcome, Mr. Jonathan. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, good evening Mr. Okay. Welcome. Okay. So here we have the practice. Okay. Remember that we are going to review a little bit about last week class. Okay. So present continues. Here we go. So this is the first sentence. Okay, so he's watching TV, true or false? Correct or incorrect? False. Oh false. yeah, very good. She is dancing. False. false. Very good. They are dancing. True. true. Very good. Oh my goodness, he's so fast. He's riding a bike. False. false. Very good. He's reading. True. True. Very good. The boys are playing basketball. False. False. The teacher seating. False. Oh my goodness. It, okay. Huh? I don't know what Why? happened. I don't know. Well, let's check later. We're riding horses. Hi, yeah. your pages. <laughs> too fast, too fast. Let's see the answers. Don't worry. <clears throat> okay, so the one we got one incorrect. It's not here. That's like weird. It appears the cat's sleeping and uh it's false. What? It's false? Oh, it's true, right? Because he's sleeping, right? 
Okay, well, anyway, but it doesn't appear about the teacher, right? Because the, the sentence was about the teacher. But anyways, don't worry. As you can see here, we have some sentences. And what I want you uh, to do right now is that I want you to tell me what could be the negative sentence for this picture. Can you help me please with the number one, Mr. William? How will be the negative form for the number one, please? The number one uh, negative is, is not watching TV. Exactly, very good. Number two, can you help me please, Mr. Guillermo? Hello. Guillermo. Okay, let's see. Jonathan, number two, can you tell me the negative form for number two, please? She is not dancing. Exactly. Thank you. Number three, please. Miss Mayra? They are not dancing. Uh, yes, very oh, good. They aren't dancing. Exactly. Very good, Miss Maida. Thank you. Let's go next one. Number four, please. Uh, let's see. Hello, Miss Andrea. Hello, Dennis. Hello. Hello, Miss. Hello. You... Hello. Welcome to Hello. the class, you guys. Okay, so number four, Miss Andrea, in negative form, how will be that one? He's not riding a bike. Excellent. Very good. Number five, Mr. Dennis. Uh, he's mm -hmm. uh, reading. But in negative? He is not a uh, reading. Reading, excellent, Mr. Thank you. Let's see, number six. Can you help me with number six, please? I don't know, volunteers. Because I don't know what happened to Mr. Guillermo. Uh, so number six, volunteer to help me with number six. Okay, uh, Mayra, I guess. Mayra, or yes? Just the <laughs> boys are not playing basketball. Excellent, thank you. Number seven, Dennis? Uh, the cat's not sleeping. Uh-huh, the cat. Uh, here, as you can see, it's contracted, right? So, aquí está contractado ah, okay. el is. Ajá. So, can you say it again, Mr. Please? Uh, the cat uh, not sleeping. It's not sleeping. It's not that... sleeping. Ah, Ajá. Okay. And, and the other way, Mr., how will be the contracted form? Do you remember? It's not. Uh, uh, it... uh -huh. Isn't. Exactly. The, the cat... cat isn't sleeping. Excellent, very good, excellent job, thank you, very good. So that was a little bit of practice. Thank you everybody for participating. Uh, from This was from last week, right? Now let's go ahead and continue. Let's do attendance section. Even though some of you haven't come, I don't know if I should do it. Wait a second, let me see. No, too little. Okay, so you know what? We are going to wait a little bit longer. Vamos a esperar un ratito más. Maybe the other ones join. Hello, Noé. Hello, Marvin. And Mr. Joel is joining. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we are going to wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un ratito, okay? And then we are going to do a tenant section. Give me one second so I can move this on. Para voy a mover un poquito esto de la tenant para que no se me olvide. Si no se me olvida. <laughs> okay, so today we have a very important topic, very interesting topic, by the way. Why? Because it's the time. We are going to review about the time. Hola, eh, ahí va Hello. a disculpar que te, tenía problemas con oh. lo que es el micrófono, y igualmente para escribir, no sé por qué. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. Okay, that's okay. Eh, mm -hmm. Yo tengo una duda, bueno, porque yo, yo, yo sé que la palabra blue jeans se refiere a los jeans, pero azules. Yeah. Pero si queremos decir que los jeans son negros o de otro color, ya no sería blue jeans. No, no sería. Sería black, but, but it's always the same, mister. Es siempre lo mismo, solo, vaya, para todas las cosas, recuerden esto, para todas las cosas, primero dices el color y después el objeto. And so, for example, if you want to say pantalones negros, you say black jeans. Ajá, uh -huh. if you say, for example, 
orange bottle. So always you say the color. Primero siempre dices el color y después dices el objeto. The, like for example, what else can I say? Black headphones, black computer. Like first you say the color and then you say the, the object. Siempre es que primero dices el, el color y después dices el objeto, mister. I don't know if that's the question. No sé si era así la pregunta, mister. Can you confirm? Eh, es que yo tenía entendido que la palabra era blue jeans, o sea, punto, pero no refiriéndose a que, a, a que los pantalones eran azules, sino que así estaba conformada la, digamos... ¿La palabra? Ajá. Yes, pero como, como tú acabas de decir, hay diferentes tipos de... De objetos, de como este pantalones en este caso. Give me one second, quiero ver si puedo poner la whiteboard. Um, pero es que blue jeans te refieres a los pantalones de mezclilla, los pantalones azul. ¿Ok? Y si solo dices jeans, te refieres al material, material como decimos nosotros, el jeans, el jeans. <ríe> Entonces ya solo cambias el color. Y de ahí, ese es un tipo de pantalón, vea, pero hay diferentes tipos de pantalones. Están los treasures, que son los pantalones formales. También están los, uh, what else, what else, what else? Cargo pants. Hoy han salido un montón de pants. Cargo pants. Eh, están los, what else? I don't remember the other ones. Este, es, es white leg. White leg, ajá, skinny jeans. Y lo único que con los... pants. Uh, jogger pants, uh -huh. entonces, that's basically what you do. And that's, I don't know if I answered your question. Sí, pero sí, ya le entendí que, o sea, ¿por qué me dice? Porque, like, why blue jeans y los otros? Pero esa es como una palabra compuesta también que, obviamente, así quedó. Y pues, para los demás colores y demás, pues. Solo le van cambiando el color y el nombre, ¿verdad? Porque como dice, cargo pants, white leg, skinny jeans, este, rip jeans, los rotos, ¿verdad? Oh, my goodness, hay tantos pants y jeans now, nowadays. Pero, yes, esta, eso es como las, es todo tipo de ropa. Every kind of clothes has different now. Tiene diferentes ahora. And it's cool. It's cool, right, but... Yes, Mr. Um, I don't know now. <laughs> or no. Let me know, Mr. Sí, sí, esa sería la, la, la duda. Uh -huh. Yes, Mr. But yeah, it's like that. Que hay diferentes tipos now. De antes, pero aún existían diferentes tipos. But yeah. Give me one second because I think we are going to pass attendance now. Ahora sí vamos a pasar la asistencia because I think the majority is here. Hello, Luis Mario. Hello, Ismael. Hello. Hello, coach. Hello, <coughs> Mr. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Good evening. Mm. Hello, Maria Salome. Hello, Eric. Uh, please activate Hello. your cameras. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Activate your camera so we can do attendance section. Los estaba esperando, vea, pero ya que están la mayoría acá. So let's do it. Because later I will forget. By sure, I will do it, okay? So remember to activate your cameras and say present, okay? Now let's see. So Andrea Marlene. Present. Thank you, Daniela Beatriz. Denis Alberto. Present. Thank you, Eric Alberto. Eric. Hello. Ah, se quedó congelado, Mr. Eric. Present. Hello. Present. Yes, I hear you. Guillermo Batazar. Present. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto. Present. Thank, thank you. Joel González. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan David. Present. Thank you. Luis Mario. Present coach. Thank you. Maria Salome. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marvin Rigoberto. Marvin, hello. Present, present. Thank you. Uh, Mayra. 
Present. No way. Present. Thank you. Uh, Pedro Alexander. Pedro Antonio. Walter Alexander. William Alexander. Present. And Yolanda Cristina. Okay, give me one second, because today in the morning, este, porque ustedes durante, bueno, algunos de ustedes durante el fin de semana, este, me estuvieron escribiendo que eh, habían unos problemitas. Mm, give me one second, solo un segundo, porque ahorita me acabo, hasta ahorita me acabo de contestar y necesito reportarlo. Miss Andrea, es su problema es el nombre, ¿verdad? Si no me equivoco. Sí. Ok, ahorita, ahorita, nombre, Ay, ¿dónde está su chat? Mi... Aquí. <risa> es que, oh, so many chats. No, what am I doing? Borrando estoy. Eh, ¿Por qué? Por el, el nombre. Then, este, eh, me comentaba Mr. Antonio que algunos ya recibieron la invitación para el siguiente module, right? Um, entonces, no sé si hay alguien más. A mí ya me mandaron la invitación también. Ok, que... creo que todos, ¿verdad? Ajá, okay. sí. A mí solo me mandaron un, algo que decía que confirmara, pero solamente eso. Ajá, ya, yeah, that's it, en el correo, mister. No, al WhatsApp lo mandaron. Ah, ok, el WhatsApp, ok, perfecto. Okay, perfect. Entonces, sí, eso es. ¿Te los WhatsApp, te lo mandaron ahí el WhatsApp? A mí todavía no me han mandado. Oh, ok. Uy, uh, invitación. Um, Teacher, yo okay. siempre seguiría con eso. Eh, I ¿Sí guess... me han escrito? Yes. Ah, ¿Ya le escribieron, mister? Me han escrito, pero solo para confirmar si iba a seguir. Ajá, eso es, mister. Ah, ok. Ajá. Um, ah, pues sí, es en WhatsApp. Es... Sí, que I think yes. Yo creo que sí. Próximo módulo. Creo que vamos a seguir con ustedes en el próximo module. Ok, so don't worry, ok. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I think so. Este, and, and uh, well, later this week, we are going to talk a little bit about, we are not going to finish on Friday, ok. Este, no vamos a poder finalizar el día viernes el módulo, lo vamos a finalizar el día um, lunes. Y les digo por si, sí, por si sí. no sé, ustedes tienen algo que, que hacer o no sé, vea, porque si recuerdan que este, tenemos lunes, martes, miércoles y jueves, ¿verdad? Pero como esta semana salió de lunes, martes, el miércoles, pues eh, ustedes saben, es asueto por el Día de las Madres, se tiene que reponer el día viernes la clase. Eh, pero eh, yo eh, personalmente no puedo el día viernes, este viernes, entonces vamos a reponerla el día lunes. Porque igual, ¿verdad? si era como seguiría el cronograma, entonces, este, como favor personal, ¿verdad? solo esa, esa sería porque si tengo un pequeño inconveniente que no podría impartirles la clase. Y para que no perdamos el hilo, porque si viene alguien más, se pierde el hilo, es diferente y like, it's not the same, no es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Si tenemos un módulo, a mí me gusta terminarlo y hacerlo cuadradito um, a my way, a mi manera entonces este, decidimos cambiar la clase para el lunes, del viernes al lunes and thank you, I know you haven't requested, yo sé que tal vez ustedes no es como que dijeron sí o no vea, pero I really need it for Friday de verdad lo necesito el Friday, entonces yes, pero el jueves sí vamos a tener clase, e igual yo les mando mensaje vea, ustedes ya saben, ahí estar pendiente vea del Whatsapp este, y, and if you have any questions you can let me know always, ok si tienen alguna duda, pregunta, o sea, ya saben ¿verdad? que el, lunes, el viernes vamos a tener clase, pero el otro lunes sí, ok, sin falta, ¿verdad? Esa sería nuestra última clase y creo que ese día también vamos a, van a evaluar ustedes. Entonces, yo so everybody come, para que así todos vengan el día lunes, ok, pero vamos a tener ahora, mañana y el jueves y de ahí el lunes, ok. Es okay. just, just to know, solo para que ya estén, vea, ya conozcan acerca de lo que va a suceder esta semana. And thank you in advance. Y una consulta, y una una consulta, y para llenar la unidad 5, digamos, en la página web, eh, ¿cuándo es el último día? ¿Sería yo miércoles les, o jueves? Eh, sí, este, yo les había comentado que, bueno, el viernes, y se me olvidó escribirles un mensajito de eso, ahorita que lo dice, mister. Eh, sí tenían hasta 
tienen hasta el día miércoles porque recuerden que empiezan a generar diplomas, a generar para ver si van a, que si van a poder continuar en el próximo módulo. Entonces, porque como el trámite que se sigue es en base a que ustedes pasen el módulo, ¿vea? En, también, o sea, sí pueden confirmar ustedes, pero también recuerden que debemos de pasarlo por lo de las notas y asistencia. Entonces, y yo vi, ya vi por acá que varios ya finalizaron, ya finalizó Denis, Joel, Jonathan, María Salomé, Mayra y el resto no ha finalizado hasta el final. Todavía tienen tiempo. Bueno, y ahora van a tener más tiempo, vea, porque, pero traten de hacerlo antes del viernes, antes del viernes, para que así ya solo quedemos con la última clase, ¿ok? Y, and, 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 what else, what else, what else? Ah, I don't know. Y si tiene alguna duda, porque alguien me preguntó también lo del, del, de lo del sonido, avísenme, yo con gusto le mando la respuesta y también que me tarde oh, my goodness. no he sido eficiente hasta la semana pasada I'm sorry don't worry, I have so many students si tienen alguna duda acerca del, del workbook, que uno es el, el ejercicio que creo que ha sido el más difícil de los sonidos porque ni yo leía hasta el final que ya, oh my goodness was the last shot Yeah, but don't worry, yeah, because it was very hard, no se entendía, pensé que contando monedas estaban y nada que ver, pero tecleando que estaban ahí, yes, so, so let me know, ok, me avisan y yo con gusto les apoyo, I'm sorry that I take long, ya, ya reporté todos los problemas que tenemos al momento, que es lo del, de dos cositas, uh, Ok, ya los que estaban en inscripción, ya está, dice. Y pues mis mañana le van a cambiar el nombre, ya estamos. Ok. Perfecto. Let's go. Ok, no problem, Miss. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go with the topic for today. And as I told you, it's the time, ok. Uh, telling the time. There are two different ways to say the time, ok. We have the normal way and we have the way like Salvadorian people does it, okay? Tenemos dos tipos de manera de decir la hora. The first one is uh, like the regular, la, la, la normal es pues la normal, vea que le decimos, por ejemplo, if you want to say like right now, what right now it's this. So the regular way it would be 823. Ok, esto sería la forma regular, pues solo decimos 823, and that's it. Oh, en, en este caso le puedes agregar PM, and that's it, ok. But, oh, for example, 9 en punto, how do we say it in English? It will be, I don't know if somebody knows, no sé si alguien me podría decir. 9 o'clock. Exactly. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, right? Excellent. If you want to say 9 15 in English, for example, Uh, nine, nine four. Four. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, nine fifteen p.m. Let's say quarter past, quarter past to nine. Exactly. That's the other way. Esa sería la otra forma, me dice. But very good, excellent. Esta es la forma regular porque decimos primero la hora y después los minutitos. Okay. So now we we'll go with the other way. La otra forma que les voy a mostrar es como lo estaba diciendo el mister, que primero se dicen los minutos y después dices la hora, ¿ok? When we are talking about uh, from 12 to 6, cuando hablamos del, eh, del 12 al 6, vamos a recordar que vamos a decir this word, very important word, esta palabrita muy importante, past, ¿ok? Oh. And when we are saying from the, de las 6 a las 12, pero o sea, 6, 7, 8, 9 y 10, 12, 11 y 12 quiero decir, vamos a decir 2, ok? And so, what are the minutes to mention? ¿Cómo vamos a mencionar estos minutos? Y hay ciertas maneras, por ejemplo, 5 minutos, 5 past. 10 minutos, 10 past. 15, a quarter. Ajá, 15 minutes sería a quarter past. No vamos a decir 15, sino que a quarter, ¿ok? Como quarter. la cora, ajá. Como la cora que decimos, ajá, <ríe> quarter. Then we have 20, 20 past. 25, 25 past. Y 30 sería half past. Ahora, para el otro lado, lo único que va a cambiar es que en vez de decir past, vamos a decir two. 
Entonces, por ejemplo, 25 para... 25 para sería... 25 para... 25 para... 20 para... 20 para... 20 para... 20 para... 20 no, no, no. Y se para, it will be. Quarter. I mean, 10 para, it would be. 10 to. 10 to. Uh, what about 5 para? 5 to. 5 to. Five, two, excellent. Now, give me one second. And then we have en punto, that you know, that is o'clock. Vea lo que me acaban de mencionar ahí algunos. Muy bien. A reminder, when we are saying past, un recordatorio es que cuando estamos diciendo past, quiere decir que del 1 al 6 vamos a decir la hora en la que estamos. Pero si nos pasamos del 2, o sea, del 7 al 12, vamos a decir la siguiente hora, ¿ok? And so, for example, I want to say, yo quiero decir, las 8 y 45. Y would be, ¿cómo sería? Vamos a ver. Primero los minutos. ¿Cuántos minutos faltan? So, it, well, no, no, no. ¿Cuántos minutos faltan? No, sería, en this case, ajá. Would... Uh -huh. Quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. Quarter. Exactly. Exactly. Quarter to nine. Because we are saying the next hour, right? Porque estamos diciendo la siguiente hora. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que faltan 15 para las nueve. Let's do the other one. And for example, I want to say 3.25. How will it be? Twenty-five, 25 past, past three. E exactly. Twenty-five past. Exactly. Twenty-five. Oops, sorry. Five past, past three. three. Excellent. Very good. And then, if I want to say, hmm, doce en punto. I'm sorry. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Exactly. 12 o'clock. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Then, if I want to say cinco y media, how do we say it? It's half past five. Half past five. Half Excellent. Five. If I want to say this one. Two, five. 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 Two. Five. 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 Exactly. Cinco para las cinco. Y de hecho, esta, de, todo esa, este tiempo de hora es que creo, creo, no sé usted, va, pero creo que los salvadoreños lo utilizamos bastante. I don't know, but for me, it's a true. Okay. And so, okay, so I don't know it if, if you have a question so far, even though I have some more practice. Okay, so let's do it, okay? So another thing is that we have two, two type of questions, okay? What's the time? That what is, That is what it, we are going to practice right now. And what time do you, okay? Do you eat, for example? What what's the time for the just the regular time? Podemos hacer la de what's the time. La pregunta vea de what's the time para saber qué hora es. O también está what time is it? Okay, que es otra muy común. O para preguntar una actividad podemos decir what time do you eat? What time do you sleep? What time depending right or what you want to know. So first of all, here we have some practice. Okay, vamos a hacer un poquito de práctica. What's the time? Oh my goodness, it's one o'clock, right? I already give you this one. Let's see next one. What's the time? What's the time here? It's two o'clock. Uh, are you sure? It's ten past. Ten past. Ten past. Ten past. 
So, but in, in, in Spanish, six y diez minutos. So, in English, six. Ten past six. Ten past six. Okay, exactly. Very good. Okay. Let's see next one. What's the time? Quarter past Quarter seven. seven. Quarter seven. Quarter, quarter past seven. A quarter past. Sorry. Exactly. Quarter it's a quarter past, past seven. seven. Perfect. Very good. What about this one? Twenty to two. Twenty past two. Twenty past two. Twenty past two. Perfect. Okay. What about this one? Okay, now I'm going to ask one by one. Le vamos a preguntar uno por uno, okay? Because I have many, many of these, okay? Let's start with Mr. Noé. What time is it, Noé? Wait a second. Let me mute you for a little bit. Okay, uh -huh. Mr. Noé. Uh-huh. Tres y media son. Sería. How past three. Ok. No, pero es. Ok, ok. Let's see. Yes, very good, Noé. Eh? Let's go. Miss Andrea, what time is it? It's uh -huh. five to eight. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Dennis. What time is it? Is it uh, twenty twenty six? Mm hmm. Oh. Right. In this one, it will be 20 para las 6. 20. It's 20 to 6. Okay, let's I. Yes, very good. Thank <laughs> you. Because I was like in doubt. Pensé que era para las 7. And I was like, hmm, para las 7, para las 7. But yeah, but it's for 6. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Denise. Very good. Let's okay. go, Mr. Guillermo. A quarter to 5. Okay. Yes, very good, Mr. Guillermo. Mr. Ismael, let's go. Ten to twelve. Yes, very good. Uh, Joel. Twenty past seven. seven uh, no, in este caso, Joel. Son, eh, es eh, cinco para las cuatro. Cinco para las cuatro. Ah, cinco para las cuatro. Uh -huh. Es que la chiquitita es la de la hora y la grande es lo de minuto. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Este, is five to four. Exactly, mister. Very good. Thank you. Let's see next one. What's, what's the time here, mister Jonathan? Jonathan, what's the time? Okay, Luis Mario, what's the time? Thirty, thirty-five uh, to two. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no. Algo um, uh -huh. Wait, wait a second, Jonathan. Wait a second, uh, Mister Luis Mario. Is, is it correct, Mister Mario? Luis Mario. Sorry, it's 25 to 3. Exactly, porque recuerda que cuando tenemos más de 30, vamos a decir la siguiente hora, ¿ok? So, very good, Luis Mario. Ok. Thank you. Let's go. Next one, please. María Salomé. Give me one second, María Salomé. What's the time? Five. 
five to five to three. Yay! Okay. So very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's go next one. Marvin, what's the time? Okay, Mayra, what's the time, please? 20 to 5. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's see next one. Noe, oh no, Noe, you already participate. William, what's the time? It's 10 to 11. Let's see. Okay. Excellent. Let's go. Um, Eric, what's the time? It's a quarter to seven. Okay. Okay. Very good. And then we have an extra practice, but we are not going to do this one. Oh, wait, wait a second. What's, what time is it? Okay. So here we have some clocks. Okay. So, um, what do you think is the time? Everybody, what time do you think it's the number one? What's Five the time? It, it is, remember? Uh -huh. it is five. Five past 11. Exactly. Thank you. What about number two? What time is it in number two here? It is seven past two. Okay, yes, it's ten past two. Excellent, thank you. What about number three? What's the time? It's half past seven. It's half past seven. Half past seven, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, very good. It's not six. Yeah, I think it's six. Uh -huh, it's six. Yeah, I was checking. I was looking at the clock. Uh, no, okay, very good. Let's see number three, four, sorry. What's the time? It's 10, ten to five. Five. Uh, it ten is to five. Ten. Wait, sorry. Two, five. Yeah. Perfect. And the last it's one. A number. <laughs> oh, it's true. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry. What about next one? Thank you, thank you. So it's a quarter to eleven. Quarter to 11. It's a quarter yes. to eleven. Wow, it's a quarter to eleven. Ahora bien, recuerden que tenemos this one and we have the other one, the easiest one, right? Tenemos la otra porque es la más fácil que solo dice el número por los minutitos, pero it doesn't matter. Um, let's see, let's move on. In your manual, you have it is on page 31, and it says, what time is it? Okay, and we have this. Can you help me to read these words, please, Miss Andrea? The first one, can you help me with the number one? It's one o'clock. Thank you. Number two, help me, please, uh, Guillermo. It's one or five, it's five after one. Thank you, Mr. Guillermo. Another word that you can use besides past, it can be after. Otra palabra que podemos utilizar aparte del past es el after, okay? Then we have okay. another example, please, Ismael, tell me. Excuse me, teacher, repeat can again. You, can you hear me? Can you help me to read this, this time, please? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it's 1.15. It's a quarter after one. Excellent, thank you. Very good. Let's go next one. Joel, help me to read here. It's 1.30. Excellent, thank you, Joel. Next one, Jonathan, help me to read. It's one forty. It's excellent. 
22 because I couldn't hear you. Luis Mario, next one, help me to read. Okay. It is one four in five. It is a quarter to two. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so as I was telling you, the, that's another example, okay? And then, give me one second. Here it says, what time is it? We already did this one. Also, okay, words that are very important. Palabras que son muy importantes when saying the time, okay, are. For example, en punto, how do we say en punto one more time, please? Can you remember to me? A clock. A clock. A clock. Another way to say it, en punto is sharp. Okay? En punto, otra manera es sharp. Uh, PM, do you remember? PM. PM. Eh, de la mañana, it would be? AM. AM. And media, how do you say? Noon. 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 Midnight. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, there are ways to say, o sea, half. Half. <laughs> exactly, half. Half, oh, we can say also, eh, si es de noche, midnight, I'm sorry, midnight, de día, midday, okay? Uh, what else, what else, what else? Pero, 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 eso, pero eso de midnight y midday solo sería para las 12 de la medianoche y las 12 del mediodía. Exactly, mister. Thank you. Yes. For example, you want to say uh, la, el evento es a las 12 del mediodía. It's at 12 midday. Midnight. Ah, or midday. Ah, midday. Mid <laughs> del día. ¿verdad? ¿Y de la noche sería? 12? Midnight. 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 Exactly. Um, I have just those. Okay, any other questions so far? <clears throat> Here we have another ideas, and we have in the morning. Para ser un poco más específico, ¿verdad? Si no quieren decir como el AM o el PM, pueden decir in the morning, in the noon, in the afternoon, okay? Um, at night. Midnight, as I was telling you, uh, night or in the evening, okay? Just to make it a little bit more clear, if you can use that, okay? Now, okay, now, as I was telling you, we have different questions, right? Like, what time is it for the time, only for the time? And then we have the other one to know, what time do you do some activity? certain activities, ok, de ahí tenemos la otra pregunta, que es para saber a qué horas haces o realizas algunas actividades, and here we have the question what time do you and then we have here some ideas, what are you going to do right now, I'm sorry, wait give me one sec, what time do you, for example we are going to do questions to our classmates, like for example what time what time do you do you eat breakfast? And then our classmate's going to say, wait, breakfast, I'm sorry. Entonces va a decir, I eat breakfast at 6 a.m., okay? Even though it's early, 6 a.m. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es practicar las diferentes actividades que realizamos y at what time do you do it, okay? Y a qué horas lo hacemos. But we are going to do it like a little chain. Lo vamos a hacer acá, aquí en la reunión en, en general, como una cadita, okay? So I am going to start, yo voy a empezar, okay? And we are going to start with Mr. William. William, what time do you go to bed or go to sleep? Mm, I go to bed at 10, 10 p.m. Oh, okay, very good. William, can you do a question, please, to Miss Andrea? Andrea, what time do you wake up? Okay. I wake up mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. Excellent. Now, Andrea, can you do a question, please, to Noé? Noé. What time do you take a shower? Okay. I take a shower 
uh, it four um, o'clock a.m. a.m. Mister. Yes. Oh my goodness, Mister. That's freezing water in the morning. <laughs> what about you, Mister Noel? Noel, do a question to Joel, please. Okay, uh, Joel. What time do you eat breakfast? Okay, este, I am breakfast. I, uh, Eleven o'clock. Eleven in the, in the morning. Okay, okay I eat breakfast. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. Desayuno, right? Ah, desayuno. Uh huh. Es, I am. I eat, remember, I eat breakfast. I eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Excellent, mister. Thank you. Joel, can you do a question, please, to Mr. Dennis? Uh, Dennis. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. What time? Mm -hmm. do do you lunch? Do you lunch? Uh, exactly. Uh -huh, okay. What time do you have lunch? What time? Uh -huh. What time do you uh, I am... I, I no, pardon. I eat... Uh, uh, I eat lunch and... 11 o'clock. I, I am. Excellent. Very good. Dennis, do a question please to Ismael. Okay. Uh, Ismael, what time do you to work? Go to work. Mm -hmm. I go to work at 5 a.m. Okay. Wow, mister, so early. Oh my goodness. Yo, oh my goodness, my my respects to you. Es para bro. Ajá. Es para bro. Ah, okay. That's good. That's good. Eh? Ismael, can you do a question please to Miss Mayra? Okay. Mayra, why what time do you have lunch? Okay. I take the lunch at noon. Very good. Uh, you don't have a specific hour? <laughs> hour means Mayra? It depends the work that I have to do. Oh, so, but normally I go at noon. Okay, that's good. What about you, Mayra? Do a question, please, to Maria Salome, please. Maria Salome, what time do you go to bed? Mm -hmm. But you can do other activities, remember. Um, I go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay, good. Maria Salome, do a question to Mr. Luis, please. Um, Mr. Luis, what time do you uh, wake up? Uh -huh, very good. Uh, I wake up 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Another one that wake up early. Oh, my goodness. Luis Mario, do a question to... Um, mm -mm -mm. Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan, what time do you take a shower? I take a shower at uh, half past five. How past? Five. Okay, very good. And Jonathan, yeah. yeah, oh my goodness. I thought in the afternoon. 
<laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Some people does it. Some people does it. Uh, Jonathan, can you do a question to? No, oh, let's go with Marvin. Marvin, maybe he answers. Okay, Marvin, what time do you have dinner? Marvin, are you there? Oh no, Marvin is not there. Okay, do the question to me, mister. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, teacher, what time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 6 p.m. because I am always hungry, so that's why. <laughs> I always have dinner okay. early. Thank you for asking me. Thank you, everybody, for doing the practice. We already practiced with this, okay? But remember that we can do any other ones. And here we are going to practice like the time excels, right? But for example, what time is it right now, everybody? What time is it right now? Hmm. Right now. And tonight. Ten to nine. Ten to nine. nine. Uh, there, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ten to nine. Or the other way, in la otra manera, how will be the other way? 8 to 51. Yeah, 8 51, right? You say the time and then the minutes. Okay, right now I have more practice with the what time is it? Okay, and let's go with this, okay? Uh, so, what time is it here in the clock, everybody? It's 9 o'clock. Exactly. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. What time is it here? It's 10, it's 10. 10 past 10. 10. 10. Okay. It's 10 past 10. 10 Let's past see. Yes. Very good. Let's go. Next one. What time is it? Half past eight. It's half past eight. It's oh. half past nine. Hmm. It's half past eight. Half past eight? Yes, it's half past eight. Excellent. Very good. Let's see this one. What time is it? It's 22. It's 22. 11. 11. It's 22. 11. Okay. Yay. Very good. And next one. What time is it? It's a quarter it's, past. It's quarter past, past nine. nine. Quarter past nine. Very good. What time is it? It's five to nine. It's five to nine. It's five to nine. Yes, very good. And that was it. Wait a second. We are going to go to the... <laughs> no, thank you yet. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, so we are going to go into the manual one more time because I haven't done some activities with you. And so this was in page 30 because I forgot to put this one. I don't know why. And here, as you can see in your manual, you have the differences of hours, right? Like for example, here are minus, minus, sorry, minus 11. Then we have like minus 10, minus nine, like that, right? Um, so, and some of them are plus one, plus two, and like that. Como ustedes saben, depend, depende, bueno, hay diferentes horarios. And, and sometimes, y algunos tienen like, uh, like minus 10 hour, horas, quiero decir, sorry. Me mezclo el inglés con el español. Y algunos tienes más, una hora, más dos horas y así. Eh, depende del de lugar en que estén ubicados. So here we have uh, some questions according to this picture. What, which cities are in the same time zones? Which ones do you think are in the same time zone? Which one do you think? Vancouver and, Vancouver and Los Angeles. Why Vancouver and Los Angeles? <laughs> Besides those. 
Oh, because they have minus eight, minus eight. Okay. Just those, solo ellos? Montreal and New York. Yes. And Lima, in Lima too. Yes. Montreal, New York, Lima. And Lima too. Yes, they have the same time, right? Ellos tienen la misma hora porque van en la misma, ¿verdad? Like in the same line. Very good. Okay. And then, which cities are in your time zone? According to our time zone, according to this map, which ones are in the same time zone? I think nobody. <laughs> no <was> one. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's so sad. Bro, that's <laughs> yes, because we are here. <laughs> in Nadia, nobody is in the same time zone. Not even Lima, because Lima is in, like, in a different time zone. But anyways, <laughs> we are unique. That's why. <laughs> okay, and then we have here... <laughs> uh, we have this conversation. Okay, we are going to do it, okay? Can you go and help me with this conversation, please? Joel and Dennis, can you help me, please? Joel, you are Debbie, and, and Dennis, you are John, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. One, two, three. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi, Noe. Is, is John... Is John Ayan Kelly from Australia? Australia? I am at conference in Sydney. Remember? Oh, all right. What time is here? Is there? It's at 10 p.m. And it's for club. Uh, till is Los Angeles. Yes, right. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Um, four o'clock I am. Oh, I am really sorry. That occur. I, I am away. No. I am awake now. Excellent. Now. Thank you. Yes. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? We can like it. The differences of hours are a lot dry right, from Sydney. Um, so then we already did this one. Wait, we already did this one. And also this. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, this one. This will be the last practice, I guess. Oh no, there's a listening, but I don't have the listening. That's why I don't do them. Here, pair words. See, each time a different way so here um wait a second oh this one is it in this way that you say for example it's nine o'clock in the evenings it would be it's 9 p.m right it's eight o'clock in the morning another way to say it it's o'clock eight o'clock in the morning it would be it's a it's it's 8 a.m. A.m. Exactly. It's 8 a.m. Very good. What about it's 12 o'clock at night? It's midnight. midnight. It's 12 midnight. No. It's 12 midnight. Excellent. Number four, it's 3 in the afternoon. It will be? It's 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay, and then what about this one? It's 3 a.m. And the other way would be? Or the forma más larga, like with letter, it would be? It's 3 o'clock. It's, it's 3 in the morning. Exactly. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Because I, it is a.m., right? What about it's 6 p.m.? Wait, let me make this shorter. It would be? It's 6, six o'clock. Good evening. It's afternoon. Aha, uh -huh, very good. It's, it's 6, six o'clock. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon. Exactly, very good. 
What about number seven? Oh my goodness, I cannot make it smaller. Number seven, it's 4 p.m. How will be the other way? It's four o'clock. Evening. Exactly. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> Creo que las seis p.m. sería in the evening, porque recuerden de que de, mm. ajá, de cinco a ocho. Uh -huh. I'm sorry? Seven in the evening. It's six o'clock in the evening. Oh, yeah. Like what? Have... Okay, de las siete. No, before five. After five, sorry. Después de las cinco, a las nueve de la noche, vas a decir evening, ok? De Cuando llegues a un lugar. Ajá, que significa... Buenas medias tardes, o cuando llegas a un lugar, ya cuando te vas de ese lugar, dices night, ok? Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we have, it's 12 uh, p.m. in the other way, it would be, it's... Uh -huh. It's noon. Okay. 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 It's 12 o'clock. O'clock. At night. At Night, uh -huh, because it's at night, because we're talking about the 12, right? So, yeah. Okay, so that will be all for today. That was the little practice that we have, okay? And tomorrow we okay. to continue. Yes? Do you have any questions? No. No questions? Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming okay. to today's class. I really appreciate that, okay? And I hope to I see you. Be. I'm sorry. No, no. Okay. I'm song. <laughs> oh, okay. No problem. Thank you, everybody, for coming to today's class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a great night. Bye, bye, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, see you bye, tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good evening. Good, good night. night. Sorry. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good bye. night. Bye. Take bye, care. Bye.